Hello and thank you for coming back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial and a kind of an app review of an app called Let Go where I've sold a few things. Um, first off, it's a free app. You just get it at the App Store. You can see here I've already downloaded it, but it's free. Um, it's available on Android and uh, iOS. Once you download it, you just go to the app, let go. You have to create an account, which is very simple. It's just your email and a password. Or you can link it with your Facebook account if you want. If you link it with your Facebook account, you can also have a, uh, there's a little section where you can post your items on Facebook as well. As you can see here, the app is just pictures of, things that people are selling and if you are interested in buying something you can just click on it on the item and it will usually give a little bit of a description and how close the item is to you uh, the person selling it on top here you can click on that person and it shows you other items they have for sale uh, if you're buying, you can also click the top right tab and you can narrow the distance of search field and by what category you're looking to buy in. If you are selling, you click the middle bottom button, the camera button, and you can either take a picture of your item or you can use your camera roll. Here, I'm just going to go up and choose these baseball cards. You find the picture you want. On the bottom right, you press Post. It says, Congratulations, it's posted. Now you can add a price or leave it blank, which is negotiable, <laughs> and people can make you offers. Let's just put something for the tutorial four dollars click done it'll bring up a congratulations you can add more details or post another item if you have your account linked with Facebook there will be a little check mark where it'll share it on Facebook as well but I don't have mine linked I always usually click add more details you can add another photo by clicking the photos and there's I think up to five five or six photos. You can add a title. You can add a description. And then you can change the category from other to whatever it may be. <laughs> and as you can see on the bottom there, it says, I guess I can also share on my product on Facebook. But I don't want to. This is just a kind of a dummy item. So that's me. These are some things I have for sale. These are some things I've sold. And you can also favorite products and stuff like that. Uh, let me go through here and real quick and delete this one. <laughs> Top right, edit. You can edit your item if you want to say something or you messed up. Um, click update. Back to that later. The second from the bottom is the categories. Like I said, you can click on fashion, then you can go through and search. The bottom, uh, the fourth from the bottom is your com conversations, your chats. Like, uh, so this guy sent me a deal saying he wanted to buy the item. And then, you know, you correspond with them. The one bad thing about this app is it's, it's not real secure. Uh, saying that, seeing how is you have to meet up with the person to sell your item. So that's a con. But if you meet up at a safe place, like a public uh, place, like a... a fast food place or Starbucks or the mall in the parking lot 
it's generally safe. Um, unless you're selling a big ticket item like a like this couch or something, obviously you're going to have to, unless you deliver it, they're going to have to come pick it up from your house. Uh, so I would suggest having somebody with you. Um, not not that I've ever had any problems, but you never know this day and age. <laughs> but other than that, the app is very simple to to use. Um, I've ha also had a few. Uh, let me find one here. People that have kind of, I don't want to say spammed, but they've asked me to correspond uh, outside of the app instead of through the conversations here. They've asked me to um, correspond through email and outside of the, the app, which I wouldn't recommend doing. There's no reason to. If they have this app and they have the phone, they can, you know, send you messages through here. Now, if you choose to, you can give them your phone number and then you can call or whatever from there if you both agree upon that. But I've had people that have sent me messages asking me, hey, I can't correspond through here. Will you email me at this email address? Seems to be a scam. I just report it and just go about my business. I don't need to sell something that bad, or try to at least. But the app, the convenience of it is real simple. You can just post stuff at your house, like as you can see here. And, and the con is there's a lot of junk, I would say. I mean, somebody's junk is somebody's treasure, you know? So, and a pro is it's free. The app's free, you can post free, and there's a lot of good stuff on here as well. You just have to kind of weed through it if you're shopping. Uh, if you're selling, usually you'll get a lot of hits when you initially post something. But as you can see, the feed here, it's it's things that are currently posted. See, these things are posted within the last two hours. You go up, and this is the last hour. So if you've had something posted for four or five days, it's going to be way down in the bottom and probably won't get any hits on it. So it's it's one of those things that you can get initial hits on something, but it's unless somebody searches for an item, like you can go to the top here where it says let go, and you search a drum set. It's just the first thing that came to mind. And then bam, something will come up. So that's what's good about having a good description and a good title that if somebody is serious about buying something if they search for it and you have a good title they can find it overall the app is uh, pretty clean pretty easy to use I've sold a few things not a lot the commercials where they act like you're gonna sell something immediately aren't true this is a very slow thing but it's good you know, if you have stuff around the house and you just want to post something, see if it'll sell to somebody, you know, close by. Uh, it's a good app. Free. I recommend it. It doesn't hurt. But with anything, be careful, be safe, be smart. Uh, if it seems too good to be true, somebody's offering you more money or they're asking you to deliver it, um, I would be careful, you know. Or if they're asking you to correspond outside of the realms of this app. Uh, you might just stay away from that. But for the most part, um, seems to be pretty upfront and honest people on here. That's it, really. It's very simple to use. You just tap on, you know, the items. You can see the description there. You can ask a question, make an offer. Very simple, easy to use. Overall, I would say it's a pretty good app if you're trying to sell stuff. It's similar to Craigslist, but with more pictures. Um, that's about it. Uh, if you have any comments or questions about how to use the app or what you think about the app, leave them in the uh, comment section below. Uh, once again, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, share. And as always, see you in the next video.